So many times we as Christians, we turn real truth into cliches or we turn them into, I, I don't know what you would call it, kind of a theology of glory, big words, emotional statements. But when it comes down to it, do we even know what we mean? And the people hearing us, do they even know what we mean? And uh, it can create an emotionalism, a pietism. It can create also everyone looking at the preacher. Look how much he loves Jesus in comparison to me. He's up here talking about seeking the face of Christ and the glory and the majesty. And, and so, you know, I hear statements like trust God. But what does that mean? I hear statements like look to Christ. I'm looking unto Jesus. But OK, but how? I mean, what are you talking about? Contemplate or meditate upon the gospel. Relish or savor the gospel. But again, boy, that sounds pretty. And I really like the way it was put in that poem. But, but how do you do that? I find that so many people who are sitting in the pew hear these things almost as though they're wonderful mysteries. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Have you ever heard that one? You're downcast, you're broken, and some believer walks in and says, but the joy of the Lord is your strength. And you want to give them a high, you know, a high five in the face with a chair. <laughs> it's like, I'm hurting. What do you mean? Can I giggle my way out of this? What are, what are you talking about? Walk in the Spirit. Uh, I went to hear uh, Brother Ravenhill preach when I was a young man many times, but I went this one particular time and someone preached before he did. And he was going on and he was really ripping into all of us about the need to walk in the Spirit. And I was in total agreement, but I was a young Christian and I always had this question. That everyone who told me to walk in the spirit, I'd ask them this question, what does that mean? And no one could seem to answer me. And I remember going up to the preacher afterwards and saying, I totally agree. And I want so much to walk in the spirit, but what does it mean? How do you do it? And he got very angry with me as though I was attacking his sermon. And I didn't really know what to do as a brand new believer, but fortunately there was an older believer behind me in the line and he put his hand on my shoulder and he said, son, move over. <laughs> <laughs> and he walked up and he said, preacher, you didn't ask the boy's question. You didn't answer the boy's question because I don't even think you know how to answer the boy's question. You were up there stomping around telling us all to do something that I'm not even sure you know how to do. I'll never forget that. I don't know who that man was, but I like him. 